Ever thought of building Chrome extension and making money from it? Some extensions uh, make uh, thousands a month uh, just with a few lines of code. And get this, Honey started just a simple coupon helper and sold to PayPal for $4 billion. Momentum Dash, uh, built by a solo dev, pulls now around $1 million a year. Grammarly, their free browser extension, hooked millions of users before scaling into multi-billion dollar SaaS. In this video, I will show you how to build your own extension using React plus Vite fast, modern, and easier than you think. Let's get started. Today's example, it's a mock uh, Chrome extension, uh, which is supposed to analyze YouTube videos. All data there is hard-coded and processing is actually faked, but by the end of this video, you can grab that example and enhance it and uh, make fully functional a Chrome extension, which will analyze YouTube videos. So let me show you how it looks. We need to go to Chrome extensions and select here React Chrome extension. Here is how it looks. So here we need to press analyze current video. So it has steps and loading. So it's analyzing the video. And then by the end, it gives us some results like with some metadata about the video, growth, comments, uh, like ratio. So you can create new analysis or you can export that report. Under the hood of this Chrome extension, as I mentioned in the beginning, React plus Vite. But the most interesting part is to make this app available as a Chrome extension. And you will be surprised how easy to do that. So now let's dive in into code and uh, let me guide you through the app and show you how to make it available as a Chrome extension. Here is my complex uh, setup of the app. So basically for this demo, I use only two files, app.jsx and app.css. In app.css, I have plenty of styles, almost uh, 600 lines of styles just to make it uh, look nice. And in app.jsx, uh, there are 250 lines of code. So in the beginning here, we have a bunch of view states. Uh, also here we have hard-coded data, which we see once we press analyze for the video. And then some helper functions, analyze current video, handle, tap, click, reset analysis and export report. So all of this can be enhanced. So real APIs can be integrated and this uh, Chrome extension will analyze videos for real. And after that, markup of this Chrome extension with some conditional rendering. And basically, that's it. That's all the app. So now what we need to do to make it available as a Chrome extension. So for that, uh, first of all, we need to install some dependency. So for that, we will need uh, Vite plugin static copy. And also we will need to uh, configure a bit with config. So here we need to use that with static copy. And also we need to specify here this lines first SRC. So we tell where we're gonna grab that manifest.json file is gonna be in that public folder. And then we need to place it in the root of the build. So for that, for this, we need to specify that dot here. And then we need this part and specify our dear build and also entry point is going to be index.html. We are done with that. So now we need to create this manifest.json file. And let me explain you what is inside there. I increased a bit uh, font just to make it more clear on your screens. Why do we need this manifest uh, file? So it actually tells Chrome how to run our Chrome extension. And without it, you will not be able to run your app as Chrome extension. In the first line, we specify manifest version three is the, the latest schema of the manifest. And then it's uh, pretty simple. So we specify name of our extension, which is a React Chrome extension, then version description. And this part is pretty important. So we are saying that our Chrome extension is supposed to be a pop up. And one, once we click on um, extension icon, we're supposed to open pop up. And here we specify our entry point. Also, it has permissions. In our case, it is empty, but in some cases it can be like storage or scripting. So it means that we want to use Chrome storage or we want to interact with the pages. So there are a bunch of configurations, but in our case, since we have hard-coded application, we don't need any permissions. But I will suggest you to explore this part because you can achieve very interesting things with the Chrome and Chrome extensions. 
So basically that's it, setup is ready. Now we need to build the app and then drop our build to Chrome and create the Chrome extension. In Chrome browser, you need to go to extensions and here you need to enable that developer mode. Then you need to select this load unpacked and then you need to select the build of your app. Okay, it is loaded. So here we have title and description of our Chrome extension. So now let's try to open it. Let's click extensions and here is it. Let's click it and here is it. Was it simple? What do you think? And guys, if you want to get that uh, code of this extension, uh, so just text me in the comments and I will send you a code and you kick start from there and uh, finalize this YouTube uh, video analyzer. Now with these simple steps, you can convert your React applications into Chrome extensions. And actually it's a huge benefit. Why? Because Chrome extensions equal distribution hack. Extensions right on top of Chrome's massive user database. Depending on dataset, Chrome sits around on two-thirds of global browser share, meaning your extension icon could be in front of most of the internet. With a simple Chrome extension setup like this, you already half away of building something amazing. Add a sprinkle of AI and you can create tools that save time, boost productivity or even go viral. So go build, experiment, uh, create next uh, smart assistant, SEO helper or AI driven dashboard all inside the browser. And that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful to you. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel to not miss next Dev Insights. See you in the next one.